From big to small screen, we've seen animation almost everywhere and making facial performances is one of those places where a lot of people get to struggle when it comes to animation. Luckily, the folks at Epic Games with Unreal Engine 5.6 has made this super easy and today we're going to walk through how you can start creating your very own facial performances right inside of Unreal Engine with MetaHuman alongside the new updates that also supports monocular footages which means you can simply record any facial video and use that to drive performance on any character at any point in time and luckily instead of holding your phone on your face and making that facial performance recording you can easily get that done with a lightweight rococo head cam alongside any device that supports external camera input and today we're going to do a simple walkthrough on how you can get started with creating your own facial animation by simply recording your face and getting that to drive any metahuman character of choice. And with that said, let's get right into it. So the very first thing you'll be needing is Unreal Engine. So you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can download Unreal Engine. It's totally for free, so you can go ahead and grab that. And once you have that ready, you can open up the launcher and then install Unreal Engine 5.6. So right here, we've got that installed. You can click on launch to get that launched. Now, for those who have no idea how MetaHuman works, we already made a full video about that one. You can simply go ahead and check that one out. But for what it is, you can go through, get Unreal Engine to launch, define the projects you want. In this case, we're just gonna call this MH face because you know it's a MetaHuman facial performance that we're trying to do. And we're going to click on create. Unreal Engine would initialize and launch the Unreal Engine editor. So with Unreal Engine Editor opened up right here, the very first things you need to do is to go over to Edit, go over to the plugins, and you know, in typical MetaHuman style, you need to type in the word MetaHuman right here. So let's just get that. We're gonna turn on every single thing that has to do with MetaHuman and restart Unreal Engine. And once this has restarted, we need to just confirm that we've got the MetaHuman and uh, everything is turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and close this right here. We'll right click and create the MetaHuman creator. It's kind of down here outside, you know, this. So you can see that we've got the MetaHuman creator right here. I'm gonna double click, open up the MetaHuman editor. And once this is open, you can go ahead and sculpt your character however you want and make those definitions of what you like your character to look like. So in this case, we're going to simply use a couple of blends to just blend and get the character how we want. And this goes for both the body and the face. So again, at several times, you might want to simply sculpt your character, get the kind of definition that you want. And if you already have a metahuman character, then you might want to skip this part. However, if you're just trying to create your own metahuman character, you can go through and do all of this. The same thing can also be said for the material. As within the material, you can make some changes, define the color however you want, add freckles if you want, and you can also do some hair stuff. Again, these are all optional. For our case, we're gonna add a couple of hair for the character, some eyebrow, put some mustache and some beards, you know, make the character look pretty cool. And from there, we're going to go over to the assembly. Now within the assembly is where everything comes together. So the first things I would definitely suggest that you do within assembly is to create a full rig. So once you create a full rig, this takes a couple of seconds. So it sort of goes through, applies the DNA from the auto rigging service, makes sure that everything is bound together and you are good to go. From there, you can now simply download the texture source. So for our case, we're going to go with 2K texture source just to keep things simple. And we can now proceed to export the face skeletal mesh and the body skeletal mesh. And once you're done, save your metahuman character and close the metahuman window. And you now notice that we've got two objects in here, the body and the face. This is good for quick testing and stuff like what we're about to do. But if you like to get your full character with the hair, the clothes and all that stuff, then you need to do every single thing that we've done and click on the assembly green button to assemble every single thing before going over to the metahuman character and exporting the face skeletal mesh and the body skeletal mesh. Now we're going to skip the assembly part and do that at the end of the video. Again, if you already have a metahuman character, you possibly would want to skip this part. And with the metahuman character out of the way, this is where things start getting interesting because this whole process is super simple from here on out. So what we need is the Rococo headcam, which we already have, and we're just simply going to connect that to an Android device using the USB-C. Now you need an app called the USB cam, which is a free app. You can simply go ahead and grab that one. It's totally free on the app store. And that is what we're going to use to record our facial performance. So you can have as many takes as you want. The cool thing with the Rococo headcam is this makes it very easy for you to record anywhere, anytime. Instead of holding the device against your face, you can simply just have that device plugged into your pocket, 
do your performance however you want and get on with it. Now for those who would like to get this, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you over to the Rococo website where you'll be able to get this. Alongside that, there is a discount code in the description that can get you 5% off and this is for all others. So if you'd like to grab this right now, you can simply go ahead and check it out. Now once you're done, you need to extract the footage and bring that into your PC. Now back here in Unreal Engine, how you get things working is as easy as going over to Tools, go all the way to where you have your Live Link Hub and this is going to pop open the Live Link Hub. Now within the Live Link Hub is where we get to ingest the footage that we've just recorded and then Unreal Engine is going to extract the facial performance from the video which we're going to transfer into our character. So once the Live Link Hub opens, we need to click on the Live Data drop down, select Capture Manager and we're going to simply add Device. And in this case, we would like to add the mono video ingest, which is going to allow us to select the directory where the video that we've just recorded is. And once we have that ready, you can see the number of clips that exist there. And for this demo, I'm simply going to select the first clip, add this to queue, and then start the process. Now you can load in as many clips as you want, and this is going to go through and process all of them. The length of the clip also matters for the processing time as well. And so once this is done, we can now proceed to close the live link and you'd notice that we now have a capture manager. We're simply going to go ahead and create a new folder where most of the things that we're going to be doing after here will exist in. Once we have that folder created, we're going to simply right click in our new folder, go all the way to MetaHumans and we're going to add a MetaHuman performance. Now, once you add that, you can now go in, double click on that MetaHuman performance and this is where the final linking happens. So all you need to do here is as easy as going over to the detail section, change the input to the monocular footage because, you know, we're working with a flat footage, click down, select the clip that we want to work with and we can simply go all the way down here where we have visualization. Within the visualization mesh, we're going to click down and select the meta human. It's going to ask us if we'd like to use the audio clock source. Yes, we would like to use that. And we are also going to say we possibly don't want the head to move. Now, if you want the head to move, of course, you can have that. But if you don't want that, we can simply disable that as well. Either ways, we're simply going to leave things the way they are. And we're going to go ahead and click on process. Now, this process is extremely fast. And if we go through and bounce this all the way back, press the play back button, you would notice that this looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. So you can go through, press the play back. You can see what the facial performance looks like on the 3D model against the footage. And this is very easy and simple to set up. So once you're done, you can now go ahead, save the file and proceed to export the animation. Now, once you're exporting the animation within the dialog box, you need to specify the head model as the target skeleton. And once you have that ready, you can export it, close, and you would find that right inside the motions folder that we created earlier. And of course, if you like to preview this, you can double click on the AS MetaHuman performance file to preview the head animation. And this is how easy it is. So if you are thinking about generating or creating facial animation on your 3D model, this is now super simple and of course, super easy. Now, before we talk about the sequencer, we've actually taken the time to assemble the meta humans character. And doing this is pretty simple as all you need to do is double click, open up the meta humans character, and then click on assemble. And what this is going to do is to process and assemble the whole MetaHuman character. And you now notice that you have a new folder, which is the MetaHuman folder. And right in there, you find the blueprint. Now, if we want to have the facial animation in our sequencer, what we can do is to simply go over to our motions folder, click right here and add a level sequencer. And in this case, I'm just simply going to just add that right about here. And from there, we can do some cool stuff. Right now, what we want is to animate just the head. So I can drag, go over to the sequencer and drop that in. And so once we drop this, you will notice that we don't have anything playing back. So there is no playback going on here. But if we like that to happen, we can simply get rid of face control, bot control rig, and then go over to animation, click on the plus sign, and we can attach the meta human performance animation that we have. So once we have this and we simply, you know, scrubble through, you would see that we can align this properly. So maybe we want it to start off from a point like so. You can have that, press the playback button, and you can see our animation. 
And this is literally how easy it is for you to get this animation working. Now, if you like to have this on a character, maybe a full character, what you need to do is to go over to the MetaHumans folder. And this folder, like we mentioned earlier, appears after you've assembled whole MetaHuman. So you need to go over to the folder and in there you'll find the blueprint. So this is what we've got. So this is what the blueprint looks like. Let's go ahead and compile that, save that, close that. And we can simply drag the blueprint right into the sequencer. So once we drop this in the sequencer, same, same, we're going to delete the face control board and we can click on the plus sign within the face, go over to animation. It's a little bit cut out, but then go over to animation and select the meta human performance. So we can bring that in. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. And once we add that automatically, you can see our character stats animating. Oh, hi. I just want to let you know that you are exactly where you need to be to learn what you need to know next. Bye. And this is how simple it is for you to use any footage and drive your character's facial performance. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.